Many doctors and scientists are currently laboring to try to figure out how to stop the spread of COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus. They rightly want to stop this pandemic in its tracks and save people's lives. This is affecting all of our lives. I know someone whose father is presently on a ventilator and could die from this virus. Now, imagine the day that someone discovers an effective treatment for COVID-19. That, that day will no doubt be remembered in our history books. People will remember those who labored tirelessly to save people's lives. People do not want to die. And most live with a constant fear of death and of how they might die. What is a pandemic? It's a disease that is prevalent throughout an entire country or continent or the whole world. It's an epidemic over a large area. Now let me ask you this. What was the greatest pandemic in the history of humanity? How did it spread? How was it stopped? What was the treatment? Was there a treatment for it? What comes to your mind when I ask those questions? How deep do you think about those questions? Let me give you some hints before I give you some history on what I'm referring to. First hint, one married couple's actions brought this pandemic about. It could have been entirely avoided. Second hint, once it spread, there was no amount of quarantine that you could do to protect yourself from the disease. A third hint, Many want to say that they've tested negative to having this virus, but this is because they've gone to clinics that use incorrect testing methods because they use the wrong manual. They have the wrong standard. Fourth hint, the death rate of those who got this disease in the past and still presently get it, it's 100%. And oh yes, 100% of humanity has had this disease. And still to this day, as I make this video, on average, 150,000 people die from it every single day. What disease is this? It's not a physical disease, but I'm talking about a spiritual one. Yes, I'm talking about sin. That is you doing anything in thought or the motive of the heart or an action that you do that misses the perfect mark of following God's Son, Jesus Christ. Why am I likening sin to a disease? The Bible speaks of those who are living for sin and self as those who are sick and in need of a physician. So let me give you some history from around 5,000 years ago. In the Bible, Romans chapter 5 describes the outbreak of this pandemic. It says sin came into the world through one man's sin, and then death spread through sin, and so death spread to all men because all sin. So Adam and Eve, they disobeyed God's command to not eat of the tree in the garden. Satan deceived them, and they ate of the fruit. And bam, one man's actions brought this pandemic about, a spiritual virus that is spread to all men on the face of the entire earth. Now think of the coronavirus. Some presently conclude that one man eating a bat that was sick and had contaminated meat has brought about this global pandemic. Now whether indeed that proves to be the case of what has happened, we do have proof that sin has spread through one man's sin. This actually did happen. You see, death, it was not natural, but man sinned and death entered the world and we still have this problem today. We get sick, our bodies struggle to keep going, and we die. And for most of us, we die in a day when we least expect it. Sin is destructive. As one pastor said, coronavirus can only cause the first death, which is a physical death, but sin produces the second death, which is the eternal death. Fear what is far greater. The media, they will rarely talk about this pandemic. <laughs> This widespread sickness of sin and the evil of a lost person's heart and the eternal death and hell that it leads to, much less will they talk about the cure. Most deny that this is even a problem. They declare themselves to be good enough. Psalm 14, 1, it says, The fool says in his heart, There is no God. So, what about the cure for sin? Just as one man brought about this virus, this pandemic, 
So one man came and made a cure. There is a great physician who made a cure that always works. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, did what Adam failed to do. He lived a perfectly righteous life and he never sinned. He never fell short in word, deed, or thought, and he perfectly loved humanity by his deeds. And then he did an act of love by which most of humanity is totally blind to seeing and comprehending. They view this act as utter foolishness. They mock what Christ did on the cross. You see, on the cross, Christ took our sins upon his own account. And what happens to a person who has your crimes on their books? They must now suffer the punishment that you deserve. And that's what Christ did. On the cross, the wrath of God that I deserve in hell for all of an eternity, that wrath fell down upon Jesus Christ. And God the Father crushed His only Son in my place. For me, one of His enemies, no greater love has man known than this. Jesus became a curse in order for sinful humanity to not be cursed in hell for all of an eternity. Some would no doubt say, this video, it's not historically accurate. Uh, there's no such spiritual virus in existence. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. No, friend, please heed the warning. The Bible warns us that men suppress the truth. They refuse to give thanks to God, their Creator. When a treatment for the coronavirus is found, will it be 100% accessible to the whole world at one time? No, it's, it's not going to be. When treatment is discovered, will it 100% work on everyone? No, there's not going to be a cure that's instant and accessible to all. Yet in contrast, can anyone obtain this cure from sin? Yes, it's accessible to everyone at this very moment. No matter what strand of illness of sin you have, this cure will work. Whether you're extremely outwardly a wicked person, a murderer, an adulterer, or whether you're the opposite. You're extremely self-righteous and proud and you're a religious person who's trusting in your own works or your baptism to save you and you go to church. No matter which person you are, if you agree with God about your wickedness and your sin and your inability to save yourself and you turn from sin, to Christ and you trust Him to save you from your sin. He will not only forgive you of your debt, but the Bible says God causes people to be born again. He gives them a new heart with new desires. Now they actually want to live for Him. It's no longer a burden to live for Christ. It's now their actual desire. They're a new creation. Does this cure work 100% of the time? Yes, it does. There's never been a case of someone truly believing in Jesus Christ who's not been healed. Now some are saying, wait, wait a minute. Well, you see, there are many who claim they took the cure. They later fall ill and sick and they go back in their sin and they live in their sin. The Bible teaches this only proves they never partook of it to begin. So friend, the coronavirus is a pandemic that pales in comparison to this disease of sin. And in our world, so often sin, it's not even called sin because the world hates God's standard of holiness. Jesus says that if you even look at a woman with lustful intent in your heart, that's the equivalent of adultery in God's courtroom. You see, sin is not a physical illness, but men love their sin in darkness rather than light. So today, I remember Jesus Christ who came to die for his enemies and save them from the greatest virus that has ever been known to man, that of their sins. And you need to be cured. And the fear of death that you presently feel due to the coronavirus pandemic, that should only point you to Christ. Even when this pandemic calms down and things seem to be back to normal, the matter of your sins will not have died down. And that will still be an issue, no matter how much you suppress it. Many say I'm a good person. But friend, the Bible says none is good, no, not one. You want to take the correct test and go to God's Word and see what God says about you. And God says that you're dead in your trespasses and sins and only Jesus Christ can make you alive. Don't ignore the warning signs of this virus. Your very conscience, it accuses you of guilt and of sin. Yet in John 19.30, Jesus said from the cross, it is finished. What a relief. He completed the cure. He's finished it. 
on our behalf what is required to pay our sin debt through sacrificing himself in our place and rising from the dead with mighty power. And he's seated in heaven right now. And he says, all who come to me, if you're sick, if you're heavy laden, he says he will heal you. He really will. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Acts 4.12, it says there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Christ he has the only cure. And 1 Timothy 1.15 says the saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am foremost. And oh, that the world would have full acceptance of the truth that there is a virus, their sin is a real deal, and Christ is a real Savior. Accept that reality. Bow the knee to Jesus Christ and have life and be saved from the greatest pandemic that the world has known. And it's still going on right now in 2020.